Hi, I'm Jeremy from Revive Cafes and I'm my kitchen at home and I'd like to share with you a great recipe that I developed about a year ago while preparing for my second cookbook. And this is a chickpea pizza. Uh, one evening after going for a walk in the hills with some friends, we came back home and we were deciding what to have for dinner. And someone suggested pizza. I thought, oh no, pizza is basically eating heart attack material. White flour, lots of dripping cheese. So one of my friends challenged me to make a healthier pizza. So I thought for a minute and I came up with this recipe and it actually tasted really good. So I'm going to show you how to make a chickpea pizza. Uh, now the first part of any pizza is the base. And I've got a really, really good chick, um, chickpea or chick bread base that we can use for this pizza. So to start with what we need is some chickpea flour. And chickpea flour is available from um, any Indian shop or health shop. So we'll start off with three cups of chickpea flour. It's sometimes called besan flour. Um, or garbanzo flour, or chana flour, so it comes by many different names. So it's basically just ground up chickpeas or garbanzos. Oh, that's two and a half. I just got this fresh from the uh, Indian shop. And we're going to add some water, so again it's three cups of chickpea flour and three cups of water. Easy recipe to remember. But we're just going to start off with about one cup of the chickpea flour and just sort of stir that in. And, um, and that just helps minimise any lumps. So you end up with a nice smooth paste and then you put the remainder of the water in it and that really helps. And this, um, this base is great for pizzas but also it's fantastic just as a bread for dipping in hummuses or salsas. Um, it's great to use um, for hors d'oeuvres or any kind of flash stuff so there's lots of different uses you can make with this or just eating by itself. It's very delicious. It's a very very flexible recipe. So there you go, we've got a, a nice paste there. I'm just going to add the rest of the water and mix it up so it's nice and uh, smooth. Now you don't need to make this, this mix 100% perfectly fine. If you've got some lumps of chickpea flour in there, it's, um, it's not the end of the world. They just seem to kind of bake out. As long as it's mostly mixed in, that's the main thing. So mix it in. And now we're going to add some of the flavourings. Um, so first we're going to add um, a teaspoon of onion powder. And we've got half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now um, you could use fresh garlic if you want, but it's just quite nice to have a recipe that uses something easy like garlic powder. We're going to use a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to put in uh, two tablespoons of uh, oil. I'm going to stir that around. And uh, that's the base. Now it may look like it's too liquidy and you might think that is never ever going to set. But believe me it does. You've just got to trust in this recipe. It starts at liquidy but it sets really quickly. So we're going to pour it into a nice non-stick tray. And this is my favourite non-stick tray. It cost me $10. And um, it's non-stick and it goes in the dishwasher. So that's the best thing about anything in the kitchen. If it can go in the dishwasher it's an added bonus. We're just going to lightly oil this tray. I've just got to always have a bowl of oil um, and just a, just an ordinary paintbrush, just to uh, put a very light coating of oil on, and that'll really help stop it sticking, especially in the corners and the sides is where it tends to stick. So make sure you get a good coating of oil there, and then we simply just pour it in to the tray. And as you can see, there's a few little lumpy bits there, but that's not a major. I'm going to put that in the oven, and we're going to put it in for a 15 minutes. And that's at 180 degrees Celsius and 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll um, put it in the oven and we'll see what it's like when it comes out shortly. Look at that lovely pizza base, isn't it just great? Nice and firm but tasty as well. So what we need to do is dress it. And the first thing to put in a pizza base is um, tomato sauce. And I've uh, just whipped up a batch of my tomato sauce um, to put on it. Um, you can use any kind of tomato sauce from the shop if you get a good one with no preservatives and things. So you want about two cups of tomato sauce. So we'll put that on, on the pizza. And we're just going to just push it around so it comes a nice, moist, yummy tomato base. So this tomato sauce is just a mixture of canned tomatoes, garlic, mixed herbs, and some uh, caramelized onion makes a fantastic tomato sauce. 
So make your own or use a, use a canned one. Uh, the next ingredient we're going to use is um, some onions. And I've just um, sauteed up some, just some, um, just some onions, just a bit of oil, nothing special about it. So we're just going to drizzle some of them on. And caramelised onions have a lovely sweetness, so um, it's always good just to let them slowly cook and brown. And they just, mm mmm, great. Now I've got some spinach here, and we're going to just chop this up. Um, it's already been washed. So just going to slice it really thinly, um, just to, to have this lovely green feel to the pizza. So really, really thinly, probably you know, about that, that wide. So you have some stalks in there, but generally you want to pull off the, the major stalks. I'm just going to just garnish the pizza with this lovely, beautiful, fresh spinach. One of my most favourite ingredients. Okay, now we'd be good to do some, um, got some bell pepper or capsicum here. I'm just going to rip out the centre, get rid of some of the seeds. And we're going to use half a pepper. And we're just going to julienne it. So just, just slice it really thinly. Need a good sharp knife to do this. And this just, as you can notice, we're using lots of different colours. So we've got lovely reds and greens and yellows. So chop that in half. I'm just going to decorate the pizza with that. Now, we're going to cut this into 12 slices. So I'm going to put 12 blobs of hummus that I've just um, made up. There's some fresh hummus, you can use some from the store or your own. I've got a great recipe. So I'm just going to do 12 very generous blobs of hummus. Always have hummus in your fridge, it is the most amazing thing to have if you need to whip up a quick emergency meal. And to finish it off, we're going to have some beautiful black olives. I've got some Kalamata ones here today. So we're just going to put 12 olives on top of the here. Just gives a beautiful colour, so just a lovely contrast with the hummus. And there you have it, a chick pea pizza. So the base is kind of warm, the ingredients are cold. So you just serve this up as it is, you can either serve it warm or cold, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Cut it in 12 slices, and you've got yourself a really nutritious pizza.